Hey, it's Craig Bowlerjack once again. Today we're making a stop in Clinton City, something really special. We're gonna go underground, show you a clay valve, and also introduce you to Kevin Sorensen. He's gonna show us how this clay valve keeps the water pressure steady throughout this neighborhood. So right now, come with me and let's go underground. <laughs> Catch me howling at the moon. Try to catch me howling at the moon. Try to catch me howling at the moon. Try to catch me howling at the moon. Well, we're down below the streets here in Clinton City, and this is Kevin Sorensen, uh, one of the city workers here. And man, thanks for letting me come down and hang with you because you you what you do, take me through. This is a clay valve, and this. It's uh, a pressure reducing valve. What a pressure reducing valve. This is what services the neighborhood here in Clinton City. Correct, yeah. So tell me what you want and what you do and what sometimes the concerns are. Okay, well what happens is, is the water comes in from up above and at this particular point it's 90 pounds. And what it does, what this guy does right here, it's got a diaphragm in here that opens and closes as they need it, as demand calls for it. <clears throat> and on this bottom side, uh, it's 40, actually 51 pounds on this side. So the, the water pressure is reduced from 90 pounds on this side to 50 pounds on that side. So Kevin, let me ask you, if this valve was not here, what happens? Well, <clears throat> with, it, with elevation for, for every uh, 2.31 feet, you gain a pound in pressure. Okay. And from the top of Clinton to the bottom of Clinton is probably, uh, well I know there, it's, it's, it's better than 100 feet in elevation. Okay. So by the time the water pressure got down to the bottom of Clinton, it would be 200 pounds. Right. And so what happens there is, that means pr uh, problems in the bathroom, shower, and kitchen. <laughs> right. In simple man's terms, right? Yeah. Yes. Wow. Yeah. And we, we've got about 13 of these in the city, and they're running from north to south and they just keep the water pressure to uh, in a good good spot you know so when you want to come down to check on these what what are you looking for any type of a, a signs that maybe have a faulty valve uh no what we'll come down and do what's the while we come down and we'll uh, tighten this up say tighten what this does is it tightens the spring in there and it increases your pressure and <clears throat> we'll come down in here and, and increase the pressure or uh decrease it if we need to and sometimes we, we turn them on just to run them just to make sure that they're functioning properly that they'll that they'll take over when they need to how much water is going through here right now oh good question there's there's probably 1200 gallons a minute. wow wow and this is going to residential areas uh, businesses in Clinton, in the area, yeah, around correct. Clinton. Yeah, correct. Yeah, how many, how many, you said, you said that these are valves, are, did they position these out every so many half miles, quarter miles? Yeah, yep, that's, that's probably about right, about every half mile. You know, tell me about this bunker, because I, I, we're really, we're underneath the road here in Clinton, it's kind of a, that's where I used to hang out as a kid, you know, if we could find an open manhole cover, but yeah. I never saw anything like this, but, um, this was built specially to house this particular area, right? For the, for, for you to come down and service this and Right, yeah, they, they engineer it and, and, well, I'm not sure how that works, but they put them in particular locations and they just have to put this one here. This is a brand new one. As a matter of fact, this one's only two years old. How often do you work under the streets? 
Do you come down here um, on a weekly, <coughs> monthly, daily? No, what? no. Uh, we, we work on these. A lot, a lot of these we tear apart uh, every winter. Um, we, we, we used to rotate them in three year uh, increments. Mm -hmm. So we'd tear them apart every three years, completely take them apart, and sandblast all the parts or replace them if we need to. Water must be hard water, is that right? So do you get a lot of buildup, calcium buildup inside the, the bladder? Is that what happens? Yeah, after years, yeah. That's why we take them apart and, and we'll sandblast everything inside. And we powder coat if we need to. Mm -hmm. You know, one thing I've asked a lot of uh, workers that I've, I've come across is that, you know, we take so much for granted a daily usage of our water and you know you turn on the tap or the shower and there it is i mean don't you find it kind of neat that you're actually providing uh for a lot of people's needs on a daily basis yeah, yeah. even your own right yeah that's that's one thing that's satisfying about this job is is making sure that everybody's pressure remains constant <coughs> and that we have clean water too that's yeah. uh, another thing we, we deal with does this water by the way come from uh Holding station or a well? We, we were basic. We were like it off. Yeah, we were basic. You know, we've got two tanks up on the base, and we've got a half a million gallon tank ourselves in the city. Well, I know I'm standing here with you, and I'm glad that the pressure is uh, being reduced a bit. Uh, we're not in any danger, and this man right here is a blue collar hero who makes sure that the water flows to your home and there's no danger between here and there. My friend, thanks so much. Thank you. All right, there you go. Appreciate Another blue collar hero. <laughs>well i hope you enjoyed the trip underground was that interesting it sure was for me hey look thanks a lot to kevin Sorensen and the city of clinton for letting us come in today we'll see you next time on we see you